Hey everyone, welcome back. So, uh, new day, new lure. Got another rattle bait here. If you're wondering why so many rattle baits, uh, it is winter right now. Ice is just getting thicker. And these are very effective through the ice. So, we're going to do something a little bit different. Uh, I know the past few uh, colors have been, you know, pretty, pretty bright or really dark and not really natural based. So, Let's go something a little more natural, and we're going to go with uh, just a black crappie. We're starting to find more black crappies around where I live, in waters that we weren't quite expecting them, so... Yeah, let's 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 try it out. Uh, this one's not base coated, just because I'm going to do something a little bit different. The colors we're going to use for the base are going to be the Golden Titan Buff, and the Golden Titanium White. So we're just going to start with the Titanium White along the back. Got some Titan buff here. And the reason why I do two different colors is because, sorry, refocus. White does a very good job accentuating the color that you put on. I don't need the Titan buff to be any brighter than that. In fact, I want it a little more subdued. But I do want the top color to be a little bit more bright. So I'm just angling the lure and spraying kind of in an upward direction with the effort to blend the white and the Titan buff. Okay, there we go. Kind of hard to tell the difference right now. Yeah, it's there. Okay, so got the base coat drying, got an extra lure here. What I'm going to do is just make just a few quick stencils. Uh, the purpose for that is. We're going to add a little bit of shading later on around the gills, and the stencil is just going to make it a lot easier. So, let's make the paper a little more manageable. Use that piece in a bit. This is just like a heavier printer paper. It's, it's what I had available. It's not... Wow, just preference. Next, use a dull pencil place over top now we know where the detail is okay the detail the gill plate kind of goes around in this direction we're going to put the paper over and we're going to shade perpendicular to that detail Let's cut that out. Now you have a positive and a negative. We'll just make sure that that's kind of what we want. Next thing we're going to do, get the dog hair off there. Gross. Different pencil, a little more detail.
roughly in there. Again, keep both keep both parts. This part's going to be just for the details, like the rays and the fin. We'll just extend that a little bit. Off to the side that goes. We'll do just one more. For the lateral line. This one has a lateral line, but the black crappy has a much more higher arc arcing, arching, arcing, you know, middle of the tail here. And the reason I make such a aggressive angle at the end of the stencil is because that's what's going to help me kind of line up based on the lure, going from side to side so I don't have one line that's higher than the other and things start to look really funky. Softer, less aggressive turn here, just in case I grossly underestimated this, we at least have some wiggle room and making it work. Again, keep the positive and the negative, and then we'll come back to that. Next up's gonna be the golden green gold. Great color when you're looking for more of a natural tone, because it looks very green in the cup, but when you pr spray it on a lure, a lot of that gold comes out. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna hit the back. Actually, do you know what? I'll turn this down just a smidge as far as pressure goes. Now the reason I'm going to hit the back is because I want it to just to kind of fall over the sides and help with our our uh, our highlights there. Lowlights, I guess. And just slowly work your way down the lure, keeping all the angles the same. Okay, next up's gonna be our wicked colors. Let's see, detailed moss green.
and we're going to spray that through the Anarchy Models Block T Micro. Again, spray into a stencil, always turn down your pressure. Spray the body up until the gill plate. Do a bit on the gill plate, but we're going to try to avoid the forehead here. Okay, next, with that green still, there we go, right down the back, we'll start at this little eye right here and spray backwards. You can kind of see how it's blending in a little bit there. Next, so because crappies seem to have more of a defined uh, scale pattern on the forehead, we'll just use this scale mesh. We'll just pull it tightly over the front here. Yep. And we're just going to hit the edge. Put some highlights on the gills. dab off the back part of the stencil. So now we have our stencil. I did modify it a little bit just to have a little bit of definition kind of as we're going along here. Just a little marks, some marks to line up for the next side. Took the cap off. We'll spray this very gently.
yeah. So all we're looking for is just to kind of connect the dots a little bit, put a little bit of hue in there. Perfect. I'll come back after the other side's done. Next up, some sepia. And same idea, just right along the back. Nothing super dark, just to add a little bit of A little bit of depth to the colors that we have here. Still kind of going from a top down direction. Okay, continue on those gill plates. Yeah. Good. So what I've opted to do here is taking the fin stencil, trace it on some painter's tape, Get the painter's tape in position and here. Just lightly trace the outside here. Darker on top and the side a little bit later on the bottom here. Okay, now we're getting on to the final touches. Into the eyes, we're going to use the bright green ones. But because we're going for a bit of a more of a natural look, we're going to keep that sepia in our brush. Got a couple on a piece of Milo already. And just lightly give a bit of dusting with that sepia. Still get that bit of hologram coming through. We'll let that dry for a minute. The epoxy, whatever they use on the uh, top part of the eye, doesn't like getting painted. So we're just gonna give that a couple more minutes to dry and then we'll glue them up and get them in. Okay, get the super glue. I'm not sure if I've mentioned this, but I really like the gel stuff. Uh, a little bit more than the liquid. The reason for that is when it comes to doing the eyes, the last thing you want is to get a big blob coming out at the end and spraying all over top of the lure. So you can kind of just squeeze the gel, get a bit out the end, and just dab it exactly where you want.
Okay. Give that a second. And actually, while I was uh, putting those eyes in, just kind of glanced over at my reference picture. And they also have a bit, like a very vascular mouth. So they always seem to have like a bit of red kind of around the lip area. But I feel like red is really going to contrast with what we've done here, like a little bit too much. So I think what we'll do is we'll opt for some Jacquard Bright Orange. Empty that out. There. So just in the lower lip, bring it down into the throat a little bit. And off to clear coat. And we're back. Here it is, clear coated. Pretty happy with how it turned out. Let me know. Do you like the more like realistic looking lures? Do you like the more creative fun colors? Uh, they're both pretty fun to paint and to be honest it changes kind of on all sorts of conditions what the fish like so yeah let me know down below which one you prefer mixture of both whatever and uh thanks so much for watching okay bye